Hello viewers and welcome to today's heat class. So today we want to know how to determine the capacitance of capacitors in parallel, the total capacitance of capacitors in parallel. So we are going to consider three sets of our capacitors. We have three capacitors here. And these are three capacitors in uh, these are three capacitors in uh, parallel. These are three capacitors in parallel. And then we have a switch here. Then we have two cells. So these are three capacitors in series, in parallel, sorry. Let's call this C1, capacitor 1, capacitor 2, and capacitor 3. C1, C2, and C3. So it is right to say, when you switch on here, charges. We know charges are electrons, and that means electrons flow from negative terminal to the positive terminal. So when you close the switch here, charges, Q, charges will pass through here, that is the total charge. But at this point, there is a junction here. That means some charges will pass through C1, some charges through C2, and some charges through C3, and then they will combine here and come back. So in that case, it is, it is right to say uh, charges are not, are not the same. Charges are, are not the same through each of the capac uh, capacitors. But voltage is the same. I remember we are saying as long as charges are not the same, our voltage must be the same. In other words, one, one thing must be the same and one must not be the same. So in other words, our interest is what, what is not the same. So we form an equation of total charge. So it is right to say total charge QT is equal to Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3. In other words, total charge from the cells is equal to charge that will pass through C1 plus charge that will pass through C2 plus charge that will pass through C3. And that means but, but Q equals CV. Uh, Q equals CV, that's the formula for charge. So that means wherever we have charge, we will replace with CV. So that means here it will be uh, C, V, but everywhere T, T. Total capacitance times total voltage. Then here we have Q1. Q1, that means it will be C, C1, V. C1, V. Remember, we do not have V1, V2, and V3 because we have said voltage is the same everywhere. Voltage across here and across here and across here is the same as the total voltage. So we do not have V1 and V2 and V3 because voltage is the same everywhere. So this one is C1V plus C2V plus C3V. And we all know Vt, total voltage is equals V. Because the voltage across each one of them is the same as the total voltage in parallel. So dividing through dividing through by V. If you divide everywhere by V, then we have CT is equals C1 plus C2 plus C3. In other words, we are saying the total capacitance for capacitors in the parallel is given by Total capacitance is capacitance of capacitor 1 plus capacitance of capacitor 2 plus capacitance of capacitor 3. So that's how you get the total capacitance for capacitors in parallel. You have said you just form an equation of what is not the same. So let's mark the end of that session.